Hi, I'm Tony Esqueda here at Winter NAM 2020 in Anaheim, California. I'm here today at Yamaha to show you some cool and interesting features with the Yamaha YC61, our new combo keyboard. Uh, one of the more uh, not obvious features that you may uh, want to use in the Y661 is the capabilities to actually MIDI to something else, like another instrument. So I have something set up here, kind of like a pre-baked cake set up so you can kind of see how you might connect this to another MIDI keyboard and use the Y60 or YC61 not only as, a, as a, an actual combo keyboard, organ, piano, strings, and so on, but actually play some of the sounds from another keyboard. So the first thing that we would do is we would go here and we would connect our MIDI connections in the back of the keyboard and we want to make sure that the MIDI in is connected here in the back of the YC61 and in the back of the MX88 which we have here on the bottom or our controller keyboard is going to be having the MIDI out plugged into it. So MIDI out information is going to go from our bottom keyboard to the top keyboard. So why would you want to do something like this? <clears throat> well one of the first reasons you might want to is let's say that you're an organist and you are used to playing an instrument with two manuals. Obviously the YC61 just has one manual, right? So what we want to do is open it up so we can actually have two different keyboards to play do two different types of organ sounds on. So after we've done this, if we're MIDI connected just the way it is right now, you'll see that I can play the sounds up here and down here it's playing the exact same sound. What I want to do is I want to access one of the other sound sources within the Y661. So, you'll see up here on the top, there's an actual selection for which organ I'm playing from the keyboard. Right now I'm playing the upper manual. If I push this so that I get to the lower manual section, notice that the sound changes. And this is a lower manual setting. It doesn't have the percussion on top. It's more for maybe chording accompanying what I'm going to do on the right hand in the upper manual. So what I'd like to do is I would like to take this lower manual sound and play it from another keyboard. And you can do that in the YC61. So to do this, you'll simply go to the settings. And when I go to the settings button right here, I get a bunch of different choices and one of them is for external keyboard. And so once I select external keyboard, you'll see I have three choices because on the YC61 I have three different places where I have sound sources. The organ area and then key A and key B, those two other different source areas. So what I'm going to do is select organ and right now the organ is selected for external and internal, which means that basically everything that I play here is going to play on the keyboard too. Right, so what I would like to do is I'm going to switch that, and I would switch that so that I can play the second manual on the bottom keyboard. Now, I also can choose to play the second manual up here and play the top manual or upper manual on the bottom keyboard. So you'll see I'm hearing that more percussive organ sound down here, and then the comping manual is up here. If I switch this, to lower manual, which this is probably how somebody would more traditionally do it if you have a two keyboard set up like this, I'm going to be playing this particular upper manual up here and the lower manual. All right, so right away here, I have two completely different sounds, just like the upper manual and lower manual of uh, some type of electric organ and uh, I'm free to play all across this keyboard and play the lower manual and the upper manual is on the top, right? So this is one way that an organist, if somebody wants to simulate what goes on in an actual tone wheel or an actual electric organ of some type, that's how it would be done to, to simulate those two keyboards. So this is just one of many different ways you could MIDI this and do uh, two different sounds with it. So, and then once I'm done with that, the really great thing about this is I can store this stuff in a live set in my YC61. So right away I've saved this, and then I have my upper manual here. I have my lower manual setting there, right? Now, there's lots of different sounds in the YC61. It's not just an organ uh, simulation instrument. It has lots of different sounds. There's two other key blocks, A and B, which allow me to go through a plethora of different types of sounds. So organs, not just, or I mean, organs are over here, but over here I have pianos, strings, uh, guitars, all sorts of other instruments. So I want to access those using this external keyboard. 
So think about this, that you have another keyboard already, and now you have a YC61, and what you'd like to do is allocate this to do all of your organ duties, but down here you want to use this to access all of the other sounds. Maybe you have an older keyboard that uh, doesn't have as up-to-date sounds, maybe you want something with a newer, bigger piano sound, and this would be an excellent example of how you might do this. So what I'm going to do is go to my next sound selection, and what I'm going to show you how to do, once again, with this MIDI connection, is simply connect so that I can play A or B here from the external keyboard, right? So as I have this set up right now, you can hear that I have a... I have a huge CFX Yamaha Grand Piano sound sitting right here. And you also hear I have like a nice sparkly pad on the top too. So how did I do that? Well, first thing I did was I went to the settings. And once I'm in settings, I went over here and I went to external keyboard. And in this setting, I went to key A. And key A refers to this A blocking keys. And what I'm going to do is select it and I have it set to external only. So what this means is when I'm playing this keyboard, there's no sound coming from it because I have it set to external only. The same thing for key B, I selected external only. So that means that these sounds are only going to play on the external keyboard, just like this. Now, I got a couple other things that I've added in here is that I also have a foot pedal uh, set up in here so that I can actually remove this bottom sound. So you can just hear the piano. And then bring the other sound in. All right? So this is all sound coming from the YC61. All right? Now, you may wonder, well, then what are you doing with the top keyboard? Well, I have it turned off right now. But there's no sound coming from here, so think about you're, you're in a situation where you got to have great sounding pianos. Maybe a pad in the bottom, but where's the organ? Well, I can use the entire top keyboard for the organ. But then down here, I still have... Okay, so this is another way that you could do this, having some type of, not just uh, an actual uh, piano sound, but a layer. So both A and B box can be played from an external keyboard while I'm using the top keyboard to do all of the organ duties. Now you'll also realize that I have uh, this layer on the bottom, so you may be asking yourself, well, what about, what if I don't want a layer? What if I'd like to have two separate sounds in two separate areas of the keyboard? Like for instance, a split. So the same type of thing, I can go in here, and what I'm doing is the exact same thing as the layer I did before, but I simply limit where the keyboard sounds from A and B play. Because up here, I can determine whether the sound is playing on the left-hand side of the keyboard or it's going to be playing on the right-hand side of the keyboard. So right now, the B keys is actually playing down here, and this is my bass sound. On my right hand, I'm playing the piano. So I actually have a nice split play. up here, I have my organ sound. So all of this sound, once again, is all coming from the YC61. This allows me to use this not only as a great, fantastic keyboard for sounds and playing them from the keyboard, but as a tone generator that I can actually access from another MIDI device or MIDI keyboard as I have it here. And it could be anything. As long as it has a MIDI connection, you can MIDI out of that device and then into the YC61 and you know, instantly magnify what it is that you want to do, not only with the sounds you can select, but also what you can do with, the, with whatever device, in this case, uh, a much more inexpensive keyboard, and upgrade the sounds. I mean, the sounds that are in here, if I would like this sound to be playing this fantastic sounding Yamaha CFX piano, there's so many different pianos in here, electric pianos, and you can take any of those and play those right from the MX-88 in this case, or any other type of MIDI controller keyboard. So if you have any questions about any of these uh, particular uh, ways that the YC61 can, uh, can MIDI to uh, 
other devices or whatever, make sure that you go to yamahasynth.com, which is where we put all of our different uh, uh, support materials, all sorts of information on user applications and so on. Uh, make sure you come check it out. Uh, stay tuned in here on our live stream. We have lots of other great things coming. And uh, keep playing those keyboards and tune in to yamahasynth.com. Rock on. Ha, ha, ha.